Hi, I thought I'd do a quick uh, inbox review of a kit uh, I picked up recently. Um, got actually got this on eBay. Um, Monograms Pro Modeler F86 D Dog Saber. Um, box is a bit battered. Um, I've had a quick look inside though, it all looks good. Um, two options. Uh, you've got the shark teeth and the one that's on the main uh, cover, um, which is the Dennis the Menace. Quite a nice bit of uh, box art there. Um, it's actually signed Shepherd 2001 um, on there. A uh, bit of information on the side here. You've got a little bit of a uh, photo of the sort of built up cockpit. Um, you do get the little sort of uh, tractor actually in the kit. Uh, paint options, um, no particular brand of paint, it's just a list of colours, uh, federal standards, uh, and I think this is French as well, it looks like it's English and French here. Um, I assume that's the kit number, 855960. Okay, let's open her up. Uh, start with the instructions. Okay, um, not that I had a Pro Modeler kit before, so uh, it's all a bit new. Um, fairly standard type of layout. You've got a um, bit about the aircraft. Um, read before you begin. Um, you know, fairly standard stuff how to use the decals, study the drawings, all that sort of gubbins. Um, paints, as I say, it's really just a list of colours and uh, with some with federal standard numbers there. Um, okay, going through the kit. Um, looks quite detailed, fairly standard stuff. Start with the cockpit. Um, it's nice because it's clear um, color call out. So, you know, dark gold gray, white straps, flat black. Um, and obviously you can then choose any uh, type of brand of paint you prefer. Um, Useful bit of it, actually a photo of the cockpit, which is nice. Gives you information on, uh, you know, the colours there. Looks quite detailed. We then go on to the um, front wheel well, pilot figure. Again, quite a bit of detail here on the colours you're going to need, which is nice. They have these little painting tips every now and again, telling you, um, giving you some clues. Uh, engine assembly, fuselage assembly, very clear, very concise instructions, which is nice. Again, you've got some photos there, giving you a bit of information. Um, wheels, wheel well pit photograph there, it's quite useful if you wanted to add some extra detail. Uh, we've then got the wing assembly, <laughs> each section is quite clearly labelled. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, airframe assembly wheels to the uh, so wings to the main fuselage. Again, nice. You've got some photographs of the landing gear here. Um, front, uh, sorry, uh, main landing gear, front landing gear, fuel tanks. Uh, we then go to the rocket assembly. Again, you've got a photo, which is good. Speed, speed brakes assembly at the rear. Tail assembly. Uh, couldn't really get much clearer than these. Um, and then the canopy, clear parts. Uh, obviously you can have it by the looks of things raised or closed. <coughs> um, boarding ladder, it's quite nice. And then this is the tractor assembly. Fairly simple um, build. Nice here, you've got the colour and decal options. And then we've got uh, <laughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me. Um, shark's teeth, or the sort of Dennis the Menace um, logo here on the front, and stand, stencil uh, placement. And stencil replacement. I'm not sure. It's just it's continued. So I'm guessing stencil placement guide. Okay, so yeah, so this is the 
one side and the top and then you've got the right side and the bottom view. So quite nicely detailed instructions. Now we come to the decals. Um, now kit wise, um, age wise, this has got uh, 2001. Um, what's nice is the decals are cartograph, um, which is good, but it says made in Italy, cartograph. Um, they're all nicely in register. Um, they all look pretty good. I don't know, the red on the photograph on the front of the box looks a lot brighter, whereas this is much more uh, almost a burgundy type red. Whether that's correct or not, I don't know. I'd have to do a bit of research. But the, the Dennis Thomas logo is nice and clear. Um, I suspect you'd be able to read most of that writing as well, which is nice. Very detailed. Nice decals, as long as they're, obviously they're quite old, if they're 2001. Um, but hopefully being cartograph they should still go go down okay. Uh, what was nice, the guy when I got it from eBay put some additional bubble wrap in it as the box was a bit crushed. <coughs> but it's also quite uh, nice. It's the original uh, sort of monogram uh, Revel uh, leaflet kits, kits available leaflet there which is quite good. Showing other uh, pro modeler kits and, and various cars. Okay, we've basically got fairly standard grey. We've got three packages here. Um, one of these open. Right, we'll start with the main fuselage parts here. Uh, what I have noticed is the clear parts here are actually not separately bad and it looks like it's got quite scuffed which is a bit of a shame. So I'm going to get that carefully out of the way and see if we can find something to put that in. Um, clear parts, you know, for their age they're okay. Uh, they have got quite scuffed, you might not be able to see it but it has got quite scuffed on the top there. Um, you know, they're nice, they're nicely moulded, there's no flash, um, there's no seam line to clean up, but they're not, and they're reasonably clear, I suspect if they're dipped in some clear they'll, they'll be okay, but compared to modern standards they're not brilliant. <coughs> you can get a little uh, piece of paper saying, uh, description bag, light grey F86 fuselage. Um, Okay, so we've got a nicely moulded kit here. Again, we've got no, uh, there doesn't appear to be any flash. Um, it's all really nice uh, recess panel lines here. Very detailed. Really nice. So uh, hopefully you can see that a bit better if I put it at a slight angle. Um, all the small parts are good. You've got a nice detailed uh, instrument panel there. Hopefully you can see that. Let's get that into better focus. All the parts are nice actually. Flash free. Doesn't seem to be any horrible injection pin marks. The cockpit itself has got some nice raised um, details here. So again, should take a wash and uh, some dry brushing and look pretty good. Shouldn't really need any other. There probably isn't a lot of aftermarket for this out there. Um, Again, one of the nice things of the old monogram kits is you get a really decent uh, pilot. Uh, really nicely moulded. Really good. Uh, I don't think there's, there's no detail in interior because of course it's a tub so there isn't really anything there. You've got injection pin marks here. I don't know if you'll see any. Um, I suspect not with the tub in there. So you probably won't need to worry too much about cleaning these up. Uh, same again on this side, not a massive amount of detail in the speed brake here, I don't know whether there should be, I don't know what there is in the real uh, real aircraft. Again, nice, there's, there's no flash, uh, maybe a tiny bit on the hand there of the, uh, the man's arm, but generally the detail is very very fine actually, really impressive for a kit of this age. <coughs> the 
I don't seem to have any horrible sink marks or anything like that there either. That looks, that looks lovely. Okay, the wings. <coughs> Quietly tightly packed. Okay, again, the wing section, it's a, there we go, interesting, they kind of pop, pop together. Um, again, we've got nice uh, recess panel lines. Okay, we can see that. Again, we seem to be pretty much flash free. Um, the wheels are actually quite nicely detailed. Nice, it's nice plastic as well, it feels quality. Um, a little bit of detail here, wiring for the uh, wheel wells. Um, more detail in there for the wheel wells. It all looks very, very nice. <coughs> I don't know if there's any dates on the moulds here. Um, I thought I saw one somewhere, but. Uh, Landing gear, it's quite good. It's actually got uh, pipe work, which is nice, so that's good. Again, the bottom of the um, wings, some nice uh, recessed, and it's not over the top with uh, rivets, which is nice. Again, it all seems to be flash free, nice, clean. Uh, in fact, it has got a date here we go, uh, copyright uh, 2001. Uh, Revel monogram. See that? Might be able to see that there. But that's all good. And then last of all, we've got the actual um, tractor assembly here. <coughs> nice little extra. Again, oh, interesting. We've got a different date on this. Nineteen ninety-six. Possibly that was used in other kits prior to this one. But again, you've got some quality parts here. No flash. Mm, nicely detailed. Oh, and there's a little kit all on its own. You've got a nice little instrument panel there. Nice bit of detail on there. Chassis. This is textured, which is nice actually. I don't know if I don't know where the real one, but it's a nice texture there for sort of anti-slip, which I'd imagine these things would probably have. Um, no, that's very very nice. That's a really good little kit. Really looking forward to building it. Cheers! Thanks for watching.